some people see fly anglers as elitist, and I think that in some ways, in some ways, we've earned that um, because I know that some fly anglers feel like you know we're better than everybody else. Even though I don't, I don't think so. I think that it's, I think that what's the most important thing is that you know if you're out with your family and your kids and you're out there um, just enjoying the water, enjoying catching fish, then uh, then that's the way it should be. Today, Derek and I are floating the St. Mary River in British Columbia. And this is a river where you normally can fish dry flies from the, from the raft most of the day. And uh, the river is known for lots and lots of fish that really, really like to come to the top. So that's what we're planning to do, we'll find out if it works. We started catching fish immediately. We were, I was using a little wolf and Derek was using, oh who knows what Derek was using, some ridiculous fly. Get this guy out here. Whoa. Nice there he goes. Yeah, it is a good start. Good job, my friend. Good starts make me nervous. They're bad omens sometimes. At the start of the day, I had a few fish come up, but sometimes with cutthroat, I get a little too eager and I pull that fly a little too soon. There you go, Derek. Oh, I see him coming up. Yeah. Wait a minute, I got one by accident. And that was the case today, but Jim, being Jim the legend, he was, uh, he was right onto those fish right away. One of the unfortunate um, perceptions of fly fishing is that uh, we're an elitist bunch and we think we're better than other people who fish other methods. And I think we probably have ourselves to blame maybe for uh, at least allowing this to continue and not being maybe uh, as inclusive as we should be with the sport. Um, uh, there's nothing about fly fishing that's better than any other method, it's just different. And those of us who do it would say it's more fun and I think that's where that discussion should end. This is a pretty special day for me on the water because I, you know, I left this area to go to university. So in my um, late teens, early 20s, I left this area. And coming back today um, to be able to fish this stretch or this river again, it's, uh, this, this was my home water. This is the water that kind of nurtured me as a fly angler. And so there was a lot of places that we went past that brought up a lot of memories. And it, was a, it was a pretty memorable day today, um, being able to float this stretch again and seeing places that that I used to chuck flies when I was in my late teens. So it was a good day, really good day. I think Derek, Derek must have been maybe napping in that back seat because I. I caught a lot of fish and I don't, I don't really remember whether he caught any or not. There's something about this seat, isn't there? This is, this, this, is the bright, this is the right seat to be in, I think. <laughs> I'm noticing it. Well, Derek was catching fish, I, I guess. I didn't really see much of it, but he said he did. And, and later on, he actually caught a pretty decent one. There we go. And then a little while after that, he caught another, you know, pretty decent one. Nice to 
St. Mary's River cutthroat caught on a dry fly. Regardless of method or style, fly anglers all have at least one thing in common. We're drawn to the water's edge in search of fish, willing to become part of our narrative.